Hello. 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 <laughs> That's an entrance. <laughs> Why is it just hello? <laughs> Should we give you a hand or not? I don't know. Yeah, give me a hand. That's okay. Hello. Nice Hi, how are you? Again. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah, you look familiar. Yeah, we met for Emma in London. Okay. And we met the last time with um, Michael Peña here at the Berlinale oh, yes. for this great cop movie. Yeah, yeah, warn everyone. Yeah, and this is a bloody hell of a movie. You see it, my shirt. Yes. Jesus Christ. So uh, when you first read the script, what was your first idea? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what was the hardest day to shoot for that movie? Because there are many, many tough scenes. Oh my God. It must be the end scene, right? I think so. I think so. Yeah, when we were we we came back to Hungary, we had left Croatia, and uh, it was getting into winter, and it was a night shoot, and it started snowing, and you, we were out there, and I mean, particularly for you, it was challenging. Right? Well, you were. I was naked, um, and you. But you were you were wearing like a little, little summer dress, and it was snowing. Uh, I hate when actors complain about how cold and miserable life was, but it was. Um, but it was a challenge. Yeah. It was, um, it's an important scene because it's also the climax of the movie. So we, it was so important to get it right. And, um, and it was technically quite challenging, obviously, because I have to fight myself, uh, <laughs> and a naked version of myself. Uh, you killed your naked version. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the problem was we don't, we're, we're Brandon Cronenberg doesn't work with CGI a lot. So it's not, uh. On many other movies, you would fight a guy in a gray pajamas, and then they would CGI it to look like yourself. But I would fight Mark Slaughter, my stunt double, um, and then we would change into he would wear my clothes, and I would be naked, and then we'd do the other side of the coverage. So it was all about figuring out the right angles to shoot it. Meanwhile, it was snowing, and it was 4 o'clock in the morning, so we were all kind of like, ugh. Um, but I think what got us through it or at least me through that was it was such an on 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 the page such an amazing climax climactic moment of the film and that excitement even though it was four in the morning and I was standing there butt naked with a leather collar um, I was thinking like if we get this right it's gonna be a pretty cool sequence so that 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 made me gave me the energy to push through. It is pretty cool, and let me say that you rock that movie because you, you, you are amazing. But Mia is outstanding because you are on the one hand so extremely beautiful, and on the other hand so mean. So mean. So what, what kind of fun was it playing this character? It was a lot of fun. It was a real treat. Um, you know, I was uh, filming Pearl at the time um, out in New Zealand, and that's, that was such a, an incredible opportunity too, and, and, and so it really dawned on me the fact that I was filming Pearl and then this opportunity was being presented to me as just a, um, just a real gift to play such vibrant, dynamic characters. It was, um, it was a lot of fun. And also great, uh, you lived for a period of time here in Germany because you shot so many movies here, Cure for Wellness and then in my hometown Cologne. Um, Nymphomaniac and, for example, High Life. So and High and part of Suspiria. <clears throat> yeah, so um, how, how much, I think, uh, imagination or good mean or memories do you have from Cologne, for example? Oh, I love Cologne. I, that's, you know, I, fit, I just graduated high school and then I booked uh, Nymphomaniac and um, it was really like my first time out in the world on my own and I just remember thinking, um, I was like, you know, having a cigarette on, by the Rhine, and I was just thinking to myself, like, yeah, this is the life. <laughs> <laughs> and I have, yeah, I, I filmed two incredible movies there, so I, I have wonderful memories from that city. Would you also take some time here in Germany because you're not so far away? I've done, yeah, I did um, a movie here in Berlin, so I rented an apartment not too far from here in Kreuzberg for four months. Um, and then I, <clears throat> my sister throws a party here every summer, so we come down with my family to a, a long weekend of, 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 of mayhem in Berlin every summer. And, uh, and I've also done a movie in, in Hamburg, so I was here for a couple of months. And uh, two amazing cities, really, really phenomenal. An amazing cruise. 
just yeah. really incredible crews. I, I, I'm always taken aback by just how on it they are and how hard working and they're always thinking, you know, five steps ahead of what's needed and I was just really impressed by them. And did you remember some funny moment from the shooting? Because at the set of this uh, movie, anything could happen, for example. Maybe some days where you can't um, get yourself together because it was so, <laughs> so crazy, so, so, so funny in the end. I know it's hard work, but sometimes unusual things happen. Well, I, I think just, uh, you know, the material uh, alone was so unusual and, 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 and really quite unique that that in and of itself was uh, what was um, really quite exciting to be a part of from the, your day to day. I mean, there was really never a dull uh, day on set. I mean, every scene, there's something really quite unique and particular to Brandon and his vision and how he likes to create movies. And so just that really, just, just to have the opportunity to, to be a part of a film like that, this, which is, you know, quite rare and you don't, come across these kinds of movies um, every month and so just just that really to, to be a part of that was special. Playing around with all the prosthetics was quite fun. Brandon doesn't, it, it's not, there's no CGI in the movie, it's all actual prosthetics to get that more of a tactile feel and uh, those, it was very macabre and, and but also quite funny when we were shooting the sequences when we were lined up and all our throats were going to get slit and they were gonna pump blood, but sometimes it would just like, two drops would come and then next time it was too much and then it would just explode over the whole set. And <clears throat> it looked horrific and crazy and wild and it was just um, <laughs> very, uh, a very unusual experience on the set, to say the least. But how weird is that? Because I know it's prosthetic. <clears throat> it's weird. It's weird. Because it looks so good, it looks so real. So when you're wearing it it, 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 it obviously like they even have like little strands of hair and everything. It's uh, and to see your own face in, in a, a prosthetic of your own face is uh, very disturbing. <laughs>